Okay, cool. I think I got everything handled. How are you? Hi. We're straight, we're doing resin stuff today. You just gotta get ready. resin stuff that I'd like to recycle somehow. This is um, alcohol I use to spray the resin, the bubbles out of the resin. Okay. So I have these trays I made a while ago, right? But I, I had I have to do a whole resin thing and I just haven't gotten around to doing it, so now is the time. I think there's paint on that. Let's see. Can I scrape it off? Yes. So these are going to be the CD cases. We're finishing those today. It's been a while. This one was mine. I think these are gonna have mostly clear resin. I might add a little bit of glitter to it, we'll see. flakes everywhere. I'm kind of glad I'm not on camera today. I have to wear ugly clothes to do resin because the resin, if it gets on your clothes, does not come out. So I uh, have specially <laughs> specific clothes I wear when I do resin. 
always gotta wear gloves and then I have a bunch of molds and whatnot we'll play with today um, I haven't done resin in a hot minute so it'll be fun to get back into it um, I started doing it only a couple years ago not long well when did I start it was probably like mid 2020 So sticky. Okay. This is also a half finished piece. I'll finish tonight. Um, ah, shit. That's that's fine. They're just silver pieces. Um, I like making these little bowls that have uh, fake crystals on the inside. I mean, if it was real crystals, that'd be cool too. But um, so it's like a little ring dish or a jewelry dish. So I'll finish that tonight too. Uh, Let's mix the resin up. Boom. Probably go with this one. I think this is the cleanest. These are, so I got silicone things to hold it in instead of cups, because otherwise you do it in cups and you always have to throw them out and it's just a waste of stuff not like a, not only a waste of money but just a waste of stuff in general environmentally it's already like a environmentally not friendly medium to use resin but to I mean if you keep it forever it's fine but if you just hate it and throw it out that's why I try not to throw anything out if I don't like it I try to remake it into something I do like because I don't want anything to be wasteful. That's also why I try to reuse the resin pieces when I can. So I got silicone stuff to, um, to make it easier to reuse, but it's still kind of a bitch to clean. it. Alright, that looks a lot better though. Because the problem is if you have it full of stuff in here, it's a different color, it's going to get mixed in. The last time I tried to do resin was a few months ago and I did it, right? But honestly, during the winter, my house is not temperature regulated so um, it's kind of the worst time because it was so cold and the resin was super cold and so things were just not curing all that proper or it took a really long time I do it by measuring the amount on the side. I don't weigh it like I do other stuff. Okay, here, baby. This is gonna be a large amount. <laughs> So resin is a two-part system. You mix part A and part B, the resin and the hardener. Um, like I said, it does get on stuff, so you kind of need like special clothes. 
not special clothes, clothes you don't mind getting resin on. Uh, I wear gloves. Uh, you should wear a mask if you're not in a well ventilated area. Because it's technically a chemical that you shouldn't be breathing in. This is why I don't do resin in my room. When I first started and didn't know anything about it, I tried that. Uh, not a great idea. I also like to batch create, which is another thing that I've had a hard time with in um, content creating because there's all those cool videos out there, people making stuff with resin or anything really. But resin is a really um, sticky medium, right? And the more, like if, in order for me to create content, like those videos you see online where it's just like a perfect pour and then they show you how it looks when it comes out and stuff like that, um, I would have to just do that one piece. I couldn't batch create. I would have to like make one piece and then let it dry. And then I could clean up, do another piece, but like to use your phone or any camera and record the whole process, it's difficult to do that. Especially when it's resin and it's, if I get the resin on my phone, like it's not gonna look good. It's not gonna be good, it's not gonna come off. I mean, if it's still in liquid form, it's easier to come off, but it's it's risky. Okay, so you mix it thoroughly until it's pretty much clear. I also use these silicone ones because uh, apparently the wood stirrers that I also have, these guys, can add more bubbles to your resin. Um, I could see that, but I feel like there's bubbles no matter what that you have to deal with, so. Let me just check the camera and see what you can see. Okay, that's good. So I don't know how how close up you can see, but the resin is mixing together. You can see kind of a swirl effect amongst the two, the hardener and the resin. And you gotta stir for a while. Like I'm always super impatient. I want it to be done like right now. If I could be done, that's great, but it's not. It takes like minutes of stirring, <laughs> it's so annoying. But then you get to make really cool stuff. So it's, it's the, that's the, to me, the most negative part of it is how long it takes to mix and, and the bubbles. Those are the two negatives. Oh, and the clothes, oh, that's fine. That's not a big deal though. It's almost there I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter just a tad though because um, I want it to be kind of faint and well dispersed I don't want it to overwhelm anything oh, God, my hands already cramping up and I always scrape the sides and uh, the bottom as well. I also usually do the hardener first and then the resin because the hardener is lighter in density. It makes it a little easier to mix so that the resin doesn't get stuck to the bottom. Oh, 
Um, all right, it's looking good. It's good. The consistency is clear. There's still bubbles, but the bubbles go out eventually, especially as you spread them out. Look at that bubble right there. Got pops. Got pops. Right. I made these little trays of glitter and still a little bit more. Not the black, please no, please no black glitter. I know that you want to get in everything, but not in this one. I'm not ready for you right now. Um, I made these little trays. There's also one of just pigments over here. Right here. A lot of times I'll need more pigment than that, and then I have the, the bags of them to the side over there. All right, that's good. Just like the hint of sparkle. These are what's gonna go in the trays over here. Towels. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Um, that's a pretty vital part. Hold on. Let me get paper towels. I use I have to use paper towels <laughs> to uh, to clean up all right let's see how this works well first okay since it's right here let's do this really quick Okay, I don't know how to do this without making a mess, so just bear with me. Okay. It's just clear, and really it's to um, attach these silver flakes. And this guy in here so doesn't need a whole lot growing a little bit on it or something. Kind of like pyrite. Or like it fused to it, I don't know. Something like that. And it already has some uh, embedded silver into it. So that piece is done. 
and just make sure it's smooth. So that's done, so I'm gonna put that to the side so it just looks like that. And it'll dry down. Okay, come here, trays. Okay, so we'll start with mine. It's the lowest stakes because <laughs> it's the one that I'm keeping. These are all molds I want to play with later after we do these guys. There are some like CD flakes in here that I want in here, but I don't want it on the physical CDs, so I might have to fix that as I go. And then what I usually do for these types of trays is I um, shellac the painted outside so I don't have to overuse the resin. That helps keep it durable and functional. So this might have been enough. I'll have to look at it. I might have to add. No, I think I should add a little bit more. All right. How are, the, how are we going flake wise? I think it looks fine. Looks like everything settled pretty well, so. Add a little bit more. To give it like an even layer. when I can see the Mod Podge still, but you know what? That's fine. It's mine, so I can't see it in the other ones. Okay. Alright, that looks good. We'll put that to the side. Let's do, I guess let's do the big one. These are the more like easier things. We're just putting a clear layer and then we'll go into like creative stuff after. I forgot how hot it can get in here when I'm doing this. And the resin hasn't even heated up yet. Like when you leave, uh, resin only has a work time of Oh, I actually don't know. Probably an hour or less. Um, 
30 minutes max probably um and as it starts curing it gets hot so like i've had it i think i've only had it once where it well twice where it was like starting to cure in the thing already i was like shit i gotta work quick i think i made it work though I'm just gonna use this one feels a little, a little thick, the seat CD wise. Oh, I forgot I gotta do the the bubble thing too. Hold on. I need my tray back. I actually didn't notice a ton of bubbles in it, but um, so we'll do that, and it helps get rid of any extra bubbles that might be coming out. also helps in creating a more even layer. There we go. Okay, back to you. So I just made these with um, recycled CDs that my friend gave me. And, uh, wooden trays and um, cut up the CDs and Mod Podge them to well I painted the trays Mod Podge them to the trays and then now I'm adding a resin overlay so that it creates an even texture and properly uh, supports the everything that's I want to keep inside so all the CDs will be immortalized as like a inside this tray not that scream 3 the album needs to be immortalized but you know it goes with the theme <laughs> okay like that I think that's an even amount so I'll go through Make sure they're getting all the bubs. The bubs. Okay, I don't see any. Okay, put that one to the side. I think that was just the right amount of sparkle. Okay. I need this stuff. And now the boy band one. Okay. Hopefully this is enough for all three and then we can make a new batch for all the other stuff. It looks like it'll be enough. So this was uh, two cups of resin to cover three trays. So, I mean, it's kind of cool that I've been putting it off in a way because now you get to at least see the rest of the process. out of here. Okay. So 
So I've done this too with um, stained glass. I'll recycle stained glass, put the pieces in wooden trays, and then it's like a stained glass tray. That's really fun to do. I haven't made those in a little while. I actually have one over here I could show you that needs to be um, uh, fixed a little bit. But I haven't put on the site. I just wanted to touch up the paint on it. It's not as even as I want it to be. Okay. I don't know if that's enough, actually. It doesn't, I mean, it fully covers it, but it's not all level. Um, but here's one of the This is the uh, tray I was talking about where it's like stained glass. And I just wasn't really happy with some of the outer paint, so I need to fix that. But um, yeah, I always like how those come out. I think they're pretty. I've also been wanting to, I haven't made it yet. This is like my prototype one. Uh, make purses out of resin like this where it would have another side on top but um, this is only my first sample one so I haven't fully made them yet it's another one of the side projects let's see Okay, it might be level actually. I don't know what that is, but I don't want that in there. Okay, the rest of it looks good though. I should have probably shellaxed these before I did the resin, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, let me put these over here. I feel like I'm playing charades, or no, not charades, Tetris. I feel like I'm playing Tetris. I don't know where charades just came from. There we go. Okay, now we can work on other stuff. So I have quite a few different things. A lot of them are new. This is a mirror. <laughs> it doesn't even look like it would be, but um, I got on it. Jeez, there's like resin on it already. I haven't even used it. Um, this is a mirror meant to look like a sun. making sure I get all the little pieces out. So when it would be done, the mirror part would go here as like an inlay. I actually am curious on how much it would fill up because I'm not sure if it would have a backing or if it would just pop in the middle, but it would have a mirror like, let's see. Get out of there. <laughs> do I have a mirror? Where do I keep the mirrors? I forgot. Whatever, it would be right here. So all the outside parts of it would be resin. I'm not sure what color. I kind of want to do like a black and gold one with some gold leaf. I feel like that'd be cute. How did I 
I get so many little pieces in here? I don't know. It's fine. So, I'm gonna, since I'm going to do that, I'm just going to get out some gold leaf right away. Play with it. Okay, I also need to try to not get them on the gloves. This is a silicone brush. Just gonna have fun and place some. I guess I can get on the gloves. They, if they don't have a lot of resin on them, they should be fine. Get off. Okay. See, this is this is. I was just saying. You make me look like an idiot. So this technique I haven't done a lot of, where you put it directly on the mold. But I know it works. But I'll also be putting some of it in the mixture because it's hard to get to some of these smaller spots. Try though. Let me see. Like that. It also makes it, well, if I don't have to do the gold in the mixture, then it does make it easier to make like a base color and be able to use it for multiple designs, which I'm all about. I don't even think it gets this middle part, but again, I haven't used this mold, so we'll find out together. Too, um, when I'm making anything that's resin, I prefer to make stuff that is at least somewhat functional or a piece of decor that people can't really find other places, like not just something basic. Because, um, I mean, like the statue stuff's cool too, but I don't usually make a lot of stuff like that because uh, I would want to, well, as a person who buys stuff, I would want to justify in my brain, like, why do I need this? And if it's just to look cool and it's expensive, then usually the answer is no. But if it serves a purpose, then I'm more likely to buy it. This 
will be nice because, um, I mean, I won't be able to do it on stream, but maybe I can do it in a video and show the, like, uh, unveiling process when everything's dry. That's always the super fun and almost addicting part of making resin stuff is seeing when it comes out of the mold what it looks like and is very exciting. have to be really aware of is my acrylics like to go through latex gloves so I have to be pretty aware of that as I'm working here because uh yeah it's already happened here and here so that sucks oh well I'll probably get resin on my hands Well, not really. I need brushes in here. I actually have a lot of brushes. I still want it somewhat dispersed. There's like none on that side. Okay, hold on. That'll bug me. broken up but it's a little more condensed in certain places okay all right so that one will be with black and put that to the side well let's see what else we can prep okay we'll prep these guys.
Uh oh. My friends are spotting to me. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this. And um, I'm going to, so for these three, these two right here can really be coasters, but I think I want to use them for like sun catchers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to encapsulate some flowers and stuff in them, and then they have the way that this mold is made has like a reflective um, rainbow in it already. So it'll have that on one side no matter what. And this one has it, but a different pattern. They both need to be clean. Uh, same with this moon right here. And then these guys are actually um, for to make pop sockets. So I haven't even used those yet. So we could do anything with those. I'm not even sure what to do with those. But it'll be something. Maybe I'll put crystals in them. Crystal pop socket. Before I streamed, I would do this in here, but I would usually like watch movies or Netflix or something. Okay. Alright, I think I might do the same glitter thing that I did earlier. I liked that. Because it was very faint and you can see right through it, so. A little bit of that glitter. And this will be like the base. Let me play with these a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put some flowers in them. And I want it to be on the other side, so I'm gonna have to flip them all upside down. Okay, 
I think I'll make these guys twins. Can't make them twins though, they might just be sisters. They'll just be sisters. Similar, but different. Okay, I'm messing them up a little bit, but not, not too much. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'll make it through. a leaf. <laughs> I got it. I saved it. There we go. Now, I think what would look good is doing, oh, hi. Thank you. So, well, this is with my phone in the craft room. So it's, a lot better because it's like right above but it's not uh, I, I don't know if this is something I can do with every craft project but I can try all right the other thing I love to add is cellophane iridescent cellophane it really adds the rainbow effect So 
So even though these um, these have the rainbow effect on them anyway, because of how the mold is made, I'm adding more. <laughs> I think I'll leave that and we'll do the final layer in a minute. So let's go to the moon. Yeah, I need to figure out how to get my other camera to be at this angle so I can have all of my stuff from like right above what I'm doing. Okay, there's the moon. flowers in the moon too. I'm not 100% though. I do have some random things like this that people have given me that I could use. It looks like it got messed up. Maybe this little bottle would be cute in it. Try that. Okay, give me a flower. And this one looks like it's attached to some stuff. Yeah, why don't you just come with me? it up without ruining it. Let's find out. Oh, I did it. Like that. And then have this guy coming up. Actually, not up, going down. some leaves. It needs a little bit. We need a leaf. Some of these are doing some of these leaves are doing but hello <laughs> there we go here's one we're decorating Okay, 
we need more. I think that works. Just pop you to the side. Ah. Okay, we do a little bit here. Feel the resin start to warm a little bit. All right, so see stuff's moving, so I'm gonna have to fix it, which is fine, but also you know rude. So we'll put some of this in the background. Okay, that's good. Let's give them some sort of backgrounds. But I still want them to be pretty clear, so let's let's just add some more glitter, I think. Now it's all very glittery. All right. So this one, this one's good. This one might need more. Oh, there's a bubble in there, hold on. So the problem is that sometimes with the cellophane, it can develop bubbles underneath, so you just gotta be really aware.
It looks good. bubble there it is I got you okay okay and as it sits and starts to cure it will even out too, which is nice. So let's spray it. Now a lot of people use um, torches for that method. I've done that too. I feel like this is easier. I've seen people tell me not to, or tell people not to do it. Not necessarily me, but tell other people not to do it. Um, but a lot of people do it. It's very successful. I don't really understand why not to. That's why there's like... And it's always good to be open to learning because I'm sure there is things I just don't know. Lots of things. <laughs> okay. All right, I think those are really cute. And they'll be still see-through so that when they are done, I'll be able to like drill some holes into them and hang uh, stuff from it so it can be like a sun catcher. That'll be really pretty. Okay. Put those to the side. out what other ones I might want to do in black to know how much black I will need. I could do, I have these, um, this is a box set so it'll be, it'll create a box. I could make that in black. I don't have any more in black. Um, okay, we'll print this black and we'll see what it looks like. Actually, before I do that, let me transfer it into here. Oh, it's getting warm. I'm going to have to do it now. Okay. I'm putting it into here because it'll be... Uh, this one has already had black resin in it before, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and if I want to create other colors, then I want to make sure I have one that won't put black resin into it. So for the black, I usually have to do it like that because um, just a little bit of pigment doesn't work. You got to do a lot more. There we go. If 
do just a little bit, then it's very, it's very um, translucent, which is good for some things, but when you don't want it to be, it's, you gotta use a lot more resin, or not, a lot more pigment. All right, that looks good. Okay. So we'll start with this guy, which is gonna be a nightmare to move once I'm done with it. But, oh, in fact, maybe I'll, instead of doing it like directly in front of me, let's move it over right here. Can you still see that? Kind of. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll do it right there because then I won't, it'll be easier to move. more glitter but it's we're, we're on a we're on a time crunch here I can tell so let's add some hollow to it too okay really adds to like the rainbow little just little flashes of rainbow in it it looks really nice and black Not sure if you were supposed to pour in the middle part, so I'm just gonna do this and pray for the best. It looks like it's working. It looks like you. What? I don't know. tell if I'm supposed to do the whole thing or not. It kind of looks like I do. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to. getting there it's almost like full this takes a lot more resin than I expected it to but I was gonna have a lot more left over Okay. I feel like there's going to be some bubbles in here that are going to drive me nuts, but it's fine. There's going to be a lot of settling with this little guy. It is so full. It's a little over full, but that'll be fine. 
I think I'm gonna try and leave it there. I don't wanna mess with it. Okay, um, okay. I don't have that much left. Let me do, it's hard to gauge too, cause I'll be like, oh, I don't have much left and then it'll go way further than I think it will. But let me do a couple of, a couple of little things like this. Simple but cute, right? Gold flakes. We stand. And then do like black and gold flake hair clips to match it. Getting hot. I gotta move fast. <laughs> gotta move fast. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna do a round one. Okay, that one's overfilled too. Great, this is fine. It's, everything's fine. I probably have more. Let me do one of these. One of these earrings. I always try to keep um, a few smaller molds around. 
for when you want to use up the rest. Yeah, I feel like it's but I have such a hard gauge of how much is left and how much I need for stuff. so messy why am I like this whereas if I would have picked something that had the right amount of volume I wouldn't have had to deal with all this it's, it's, it's fine everything's fine this is part of my creating process away from hardening so this is like a crystal mold and I use this for when I make little inlays probably has about a half an hour working time before things start to get dangerously close to hardening on you before you want them to. There's a lot of ways to clean it up both in the middle of the process and afterwards so I'm not too worried about that but I don't like for things to get messy because it does make it more of a challenge just adds more steps So then what I try to do is before these are fully cured, I'll try to put in the hardware for it so that the resin adheres to whatever the hardware is. So like for the, I hope this one got in all the holes. I've had to deal with it straight up hardening like while I'm touching it so 
no bigs. That sounded bad. That's fine. Um, so like here's the pop socket ones. These can go on afterwards because they have um, tape. But these guys. These guys I'll put on in here, but only when it's about to. It's like already pretty cured because otherwise it does it too much. And then it starts to ruin it. There we go. Okay. Put those over there. Oh, excuse you, rude. other than breaking out the crystals, which I think it's about that time. Maybe I'll use some of those too. That would be cute. Okay. Put those to the side. And I don't have all my large um, crystals in here. They're room but I do have a few I think There's some charms over here too. Hold on. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Saw that in the camera. Okay. Some little triangles could be cute. sitting here. Present. Okay, I was like, I thought I had a bruise, but no, it was just more of the re the resin. They're part of the resin that's haunting me. It's fine. 
how it usually goes. time. Just being a mess, it's fine. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to converse as I go, but this does take a lot of concentration. <laughs> Pores come with mess, that's for fucking sure. I think that's part of why I like it. It's chaos. I've already made quite a few little things, uh, but well, actually, I've made quite a few things. Fucking black resin said, girl, today you're going to be a mess and that's just how it is. I was doing so nice. That's the part of like all of those vi nice videos online where people are doing resin pours and they come out perfect and stuff and I'm like, I know you mess up. I know you gotta mess up. Okay, let me take. It's probably the loudest tape in the world. <laughs> need to be super clear uh so I'm gonna play more with some of the pop sockets and the barrettes and then go into the other stuff I have this one that's like a tarot card holder which I'm excited to do that one's new and then this one kind of looks like my logo so I was like gotta get that one and there's also a pendulum board that I'm gonna do but I don't know what colors to do for those either.
I kind of want to do something in like a dark blue. I feel like that color is really coming into style right now. So I might do one of these things with dark blue. Like a, like a cobalt blue, like a really, like a blue blue. Really sure who's gonna want like a giant heart pop socket but you know we'll give it a try Part one, really flowery. Let go of me, flower. that since I can just put the pop sockets on the back, the rest of these are probably going to be not face down. They might be done face up. And that'll help a lot to be able to see what I'm doing. Because like I can't put this big old piece of amethyst in there face down. So that doesn't work. a bunch of amethyst around it. I bet somebody's done it, but I'd probably start a whole line of just like crystal pop sockets and have it go viral or whatever. Somebody's probably already made that.
I'm just making sure this one's full. I'm gonna put a little resin over the top of the middle part to give it a little extra shine. It's probably unnecessary, but it feels right. Also make sure it's really like in there. something with these guys. Oh, okay, I guess he chose the middle one. That's fine. Actually, if I do it like that, then I do them opposite, then it's Anybody's gonna get that though. I don't know if it translates. Other. Okay, they're attached to this bag for some reason. That's fun. Okay. I think I'm going to take these out. I'm going to put them in another one. I'm going to put them up here. I really don't think this is going to work, but I'm just going to... Okay, I don't hate it. It doesn't... Does it make any sense? No. Does it need to? That's the question. I 
I'll just randomly place that in there. That's cute. Hanging from the bottom of the flower. And then in this one, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I have some runes. I'm just dropping everything. Rose quartz around it. I feel like one rune is not enough, but you know, if maybe it is. Maybe that's just my too much gene coming out. It's a nice idea, but no. But no. Need to flip you around you to see better.
iridescent, maybe flowers, I don't know. Sometimes I get stumped and spend too much time on one thing and then everything else gets messed up because of it. So let's move on for a second. Before I mess all of the other things that I have up. <laughs> to make different colors. So I'm gonna do the blue I was talking about. I mean, I could probably use that as eyeshadow. I just don't know if I should, <laughs> so I'm not going to. <laughs> Seems like a bad choice. <laughs> because I would have hated this color. It's so funny how colors come in and out of fashion. I would have hated this color like not that long ago. Now I'm like, oh my God, it's so pretty. God, I have money. I have like, uh, <laughs> I have like, uh, shredded, discontinued money to use. I forgot about that. Okay, here. Those are stars. Do I want stars? I think I wanted butterflies, but maybe I want stars. Those are those. And these 
I want these bright ass butterflies in there. Do a layer of the clear how dare you the blue on it that's fine um because it helps give it something to stick to and have something on the other side of it of it might not either but if I give it the clear backing it might or the clear front part and then I'll give it a little bit of time to stopple before I put it in I'm gonna put the blue one just I just want to see if it shows up Can you chill? I know you're excited. Just chill. That chill for a little bit. Let's put some butterflies in here too. so random I don't even know if anyone's gonna like it but sometimes it's just fun to play with stuff and I've been really surprised too when I've made stuff like this and I'll be like I don't know if anyone's gonna like it and then it gets bought right away 
ones. Okay, and then transformational butterflies with Gibo over here. So we're gonna uh, I think it's like gifts and receiving. art be like that where you think where you aren't sure if you like it and then it ends up turning out good or somebody else really likes it that is how it is it's rude <laughs> my mom will be like well why don't you just work on focus on making things that you know that people like and I'm like honestly I don't know what that is like I can go based off of what's sold, but I am doing that, so like, what? Still gonna make new stuff too. I don't know, my art brain does not function well with, with business. I've always like been interested in business, but really my brain, my art brain conflicts with business so much. Oh, there's bubbles. one might be yeah this one's like hard and almost hard okay. oh bubbles okay they still get through too they're the bane of my existence fucking bubbles All right, I need to work faster. This is gonna turn out good, but I'm just, I'm just gonna see. I'm taking risks today. I don't want to make that one blue. It's getting hot. All right, I need to move quick, 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 with a quickness. All right, where's the lid for that? There it is. Okay.
ass fucking mold. How rude. Rude. That's fine. <sighs> it gets in all the pieces okay i like how that was gonna be a totally different color well now it's not now it's blue and oh god this is hot blue and what goes with blue Another hue of blue. Yeah. Do like a darker blue. Get out of there. I'm gonna put some of this in the background. putting the iridescent cellophane and stuff because it just adds a little extra oomph.
this one's already like almost hardening, so I'm gonna have to. I'm working quick. I'm working quick. It's like getting chunky. <laughs> That's when you know it's like you were waiting too long. <laughs> do with the rest of this really quick because I don't think it's gonna fit the other mold business over here. This is a lot. Okay. I don't know. What do I do with it? Off, off, off. You're all ruining my day. Hold on. small molds all the ones out I don't want gambit of of wildly successful and oh girl you're ruining everything Whew. Gelatin. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. That's fine. Because I should be able to um, I should be able to mix in some other resin with that and that will help it all mold together. Okay. Hopefully that's not hard yet because I want to put some of this in there. Right. 
Everything is sticky. Everything. Hard and sticky. <laughs> Late night art streams are hard and sticky. Oh, I don't even know if that's gonna go in there. I think it's already hard. That's fine, I can probably put a little, a little bit of a layer on top to like, Oh boy. Oh shit. <laughs> what do people come to your streams for? Hard and sticky streams. Obviously. Yeah, they're like, it's already hard. That's how ready it was. alcohol you can kind of manipulate it without it getting stuck all over you so I'm trying that I'm trying to make sure it's properly in all the pieces it's like play-doh now I don't know how well this is gonna come out, but the other ones are gonna come out good. So that's all that matters. This was a an extra guy, and if it comes out looking like crap, you just decorate it, and then it will look better. That's my philosophy. Oh my god, everything is sticky. one big mold left that I wanted to try tonight um, so I'm trying to make room for it and then you know try to fix this guy like a small tray and I really just want to see how it looks <laughs> oh my god so I'm in my craft room right now my dog is clawing at the door like let me in I'm like you can't come in here you know that Bruh. no one gets to go in every room all the time he's so funny he's learned ever since I started streaming he's learned that he can Go claw at the door and then I'll eventually come get it. Smart ass dog. Okay. Right? So smart. He likes to act dumb, but he's actually smart.
anything. <laughs> So I don't want to create too much for this. So I'll probably do eight ounces, which might be too much, but we'll see. Like I can breathe now because I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I would okay, I can stretch. I can't really reach my drink right now though. Hold on. I can hold I can try. I don't want I don't want to touch it with my hand. my streams where there's like lulls of times where there's it's chill not a whole lot's going on and then oh my god look what happens look what happens ruins not really let me fix it I'm surprised that one hasn't set up yet when like the other ones have it was the same resin. Okay, well hopefully underneath it still looks the same. There we go. <sighs> but yeah, it's just like all my streams where everything's like chaotic and then it's calm and then it's chaotic again and then it's calm. people First of all, give me a little bit over here. Just enough to encapsulate. watching uh, Gilmore Girls and they just said uh, no glove no love and I was like oh I forgot about that <laughs> I forgot about them saying <laughs>
Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Crap. Everything's just a mess. drag lashes no, it's definitely not well enough made for me to sell it but we love amethyst At least when it's like the liquid part, it's easier to clean up than when it's hardening. Okay. So I think I'll add some crystals to this too since there's already some that fell in it. still be some well what I'm thinking is I want it to be still somewhat transparent When it's transparent, you can really see through it, so it just looks really pretty. Thank you. 
right, so we do still have some left over. I kind of thought we would, so let's figure out something to put it in. We have time now. I don't have to rush it like I did before. Okay, I can't move it. Um, what do I have? What do I have that I've been wanting to make more of? Do I have anything to put in here? Let's see. I'll be there in a minute. Does not like streaming without me. Put in like little iridescent guys. one is detailed. When I make these little ceremonial type daggers, I usually make them way more detailed, but it's fun. Hmm. Alright, so some left. Not a lot. Just a little. Let's 
see, are there any other crystal ones? Yeah. I'm tired now. <laughs>